Welcome to the first lesson in this module, where you'll learn how to download and install the software required for developing Android apps. Android makes use of the Java programming language for the development of apps. Therefore, we must first install the JDK, or Java Development Kit. The Java Development Kit contains the source code and tools that are required for the development of Java applications. Next, we'll install the Android Studio IDE, or Integrated Development Environment, which contains the text editor and all the additional source code and tools required for the development of Android apps. After completing this lesson, you'll know how to get both the Java JDK and the Android Studio IDE installed onto your development machine. Hello, and now we're going to show you how to install the JDK, or Java Development Kit, onto your development system. The Java JDK is the software that allows you to not only run, but also to develop Java applications. Android makes use of Java source code for the development of Android apps, and even for the running of the tools that you'll learn how to install later in this lesson, such as the Android Studio IDE, or Integrated Development Environment. It requires the Java JDK to first be installed. In the future, Android release N to be In the future, Android release N to be specific, the software developers of Android will be moving away from the official Java JDK and instead moving to the open source Java development kit called OpenJDK. Therefore, this installation video will be of use to you until at least Android N is released. I am screen capturing my installation process on a Windows 10 laptop that has 64-bit support. Therefore, I'll be making the corresponding choices to match my operating system. You will have to choose the specific installer that matches your particular configuration. In addition, to shorten the length of this video, I will be skipping ahead at certain places within the video itself, where somewhat long-running processes, such as the downloading of a file or the installation of software, is occurring. Now that the explanation is out of the way, let us begin the installation of the Java Development Kit. Android officially supports the Java 7 release. However, the Java 7 Development Kit has been officially discontinued when it comes to public security software updates. Therefore, I'm going to show you how to install the Java Development Kit 8 and recommend that you do so. Installing the Java 8 JDK has three main benefits. First, it is still receiving public security updates. Second, installing the Java 8 JDK also gives you the ability to create Java 7 software which is what Android and Android Studio require. And thirdly, you will have access to both the Java 7 features and also to the Java 8 features if you choose to develop any Java software not intended for Android. We will provide you with the URL to this website so you don't have to try and write it down from this video. We will provide you with the URL to this website for downloading the software. So therefore, you don't have to try and write it down from this video. The first step in proceeding to install the JDK is to make sure you have an internet connection and that your device has reliable access to power for a prolonged time. The JDK itself is relatively small at around 900 megabytes. However, the Android Studio installation requires a downloading of at least one gigabyte and possibly several gigabytes of data depending on your installation choices. Therefore, you should find a location which will allow you the time and bandwidth to install both of these software installations. On this page, there is a wide range of links available for selection. Oracle releases a couple variations of the JDK. The exact difference between them is beyond the scope of this lesson, so we will scroll down to the 8U65 section and select the installer appropriate for your development machine and operating system. My device is Windows 64-bit, 
So I will click on that. I will click on the link and a download prompt will appear. The download will ask you where you want to download the installer to. For this example, I'm going to download it to my desktop. I will click save and the download process will start. I am on a very fast connection, so this process won't take long for me, but I will skip ahead now. Okay, now that the download has completed, I have a couple of options. In Chrome, you can click this button here, if you have it enabled, to start the installation. Alright, now that the download has completed, I will minimize the browser window and we will see the installer on my desktop. I will double click on it. In Windows at least I will get a prompt for user access control. I Yes, I want to install this software. We will wait for the installer to finish initialization. Once the following window appears, you can start the installation of the Java Development Kit. To begin, we will need to click Next. Once you click Next, the following window will appear. This window will ask you if you want to install development tools and the source code. The development tools are required, and the source code, although not technically required, are highly, highly recommended. So we are going to leave those both to be installed. In addition, this window asks you where you want to install the development kit to. The default, at least on my version of Windows, is C, Program Files, Java, JDK, and then the exact release version. I would recommend you not update this or change it. Leave it as is. Click Next. Now the actual installation of the development kit will proceed. The video will continue after the installation has finished. Once the installation has completed, this window will appear, and you can click the Close button to exit out of the installer. Once you have closed the window, the installation of the Java Development Kit has completed, and you now have it on your system. We are now at the Android Developer website, and if you want to download the bundle for Android Studio, we will have to click the green button to and agree to the terms and conditions and click download. You'll notice down here in Chrome that it will start the downloading process. Once the Android bundle is completed you will want to go ahead and launch it. This will vary depending on the browser you're using. In Chrome you just click down here in the corner and it will start the launcher for you. It will open up a security prompt and you will go ahead and click run. We will wait for the launcher to complete opening once the Android Studio setup has completed launching, we will go ahead and click Next. There will be three options, Android Studio, Android SDK, and the Android Virtual Device. We will go ahead and install all three options in this video. You will agree to the terms and conditions. There will be default settings for both the installation of Android Studio and the Android SDK, based on what settings you chose earlier. I would recommend you keep those as the default unless you know where in particular you want them to be installed. If you choose to have Android Studio in your start menu, go ahead and leave it as is. Otherwise, do not create shortcuts. Go ahead and click install. And we will wait for this to finish installing. When the installation is complete, you will see a next button that you can click on. Go ahead and click on that and you will be able to then start Android Studio once you click Finish. Now that you've completed this lesson, you should know how to download and install both the Java JDK and the Android Studio IDE. You will need to download and install both of these onto your development machine before you can continue forward with additional lessons.